ready. Explain please what is it and what for? Pardon? Explain please what are you doing? Explain please. Please. Well, we got 500 grams of diced chicken. 500 grams. And we're doing a green curry. We got green curry paste, coconut cream, and we got a tin of coconut milk. Mm -hmm. And I'm also going to put some diced pineapple in. Mm -hmm. And anything else that we might find. Maybe a finger. <laughs> Oh, here we go. We're going to have some sure. little bit of that yes. as well. Hmm. Okay. Meanwhile, mm. Mm. okay. Let's start. Mhm. Mm right. So, a little bit of oil. Just a spoonful. Not sure if the lights work on that. Okay, so we're going to put our chicken in the pot. And just let it brown up and seal. A pinch of salt. I do miss my gas cooker. I've got that on gas mark nine. And I don't think it would melt butter. Probably would. Okay, so that's pretty much sealed and see it. So it's going to add the pepper. Be nice if we had a red one as well, but we don't. So we'll make do just with the one. Mm -hmm. So I'm now going to it. A green curry paste. And I'm going to open the coconut milk.
I'll just see if I can pour some in there without spilling it everywhere. I'll give it a good shake and get the rest of the green curry paste out. just eating through nicely and I'm going to add the coconut cream I'll just prise it open a little bit more had some scissors but unfortunately we don't there you go mm -hmm. wow that is nice and creamy now So it's cooking nicely. I'm gonna give it at least 30 minutes, if not longer, maybe 35 minutes. Um, whilst we're at it, we'll just show you how to chop the pineapple up with a very blunt knife. many people find it awkward when they cut coconut uh, pineapple but it's not really that difficult in fact this is the easy way there's a nice decorative way as well if you want to present it um, I'll just run for it and show you if you're using it as a sweet and you just want to make it look sort of really different. I've actually spoiled it by taking that off but uh, if you were to do, do these cuts And of course, without cutting that piece off, because that's spoiled it now, you just, mind your fingers, but just cut underneath it so it remains on there. And when you put these in, if you just put, put them in so that they will turn it, like so. And when you put it on the table, it just makes it look quite interesting. Remember it not to cut down the sides there. Quite nice. Hmm? But what we're going to do is just chop these pieces up and add them to our dish. So I just prepared a little fried rice. It's brown rice. And uh, just put some chopped apricots and some chickpeas in just to make it interesting and the brown rice is um, cooked with turmeric in it hence the yellow colour and we're just giving it a stir fry in there 
I prefer to use a wok, but I don't have one here. And it's also nice if you've got some peas to go in. And that's the curry look, which is looking pretty good. There we go. Mm -hmm. Still on, yeah? Oh, that's fine. You were yeah, yeah. Okay. So this is ordinary pillow rice, okay? And um, bought from Aldi. So I cheated there. But uh, it's, it's handy just to um, quickly heat up in the microwave. This one, this say is the brown rice. And it's already there with some uh, chopped up apricots and some chickpeas, just to give a bit of interest. And over here is our curry, which actually has been cooking for nearly one hour. He's making sure, yeah, pretty good consistency. Okay. So those three are going on there, along with a bit of a side salad as well, okay? And that's our dinner. Green Thai chicken curry, apricot chickpeas, brown rice, and ordinary pillow rice, both with turmeric in actually. So we've got that yellow look to both dishes and just break the flavours up you can have that nice little salad side, side salad dish okay well I hope you try it I hope you enjoy it and we'll see you again bye bye